Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna show you what's going on with this car. That's my left turn signal. And we're going around the corner and when we come out of the corner, the turn signal doesn't turn off. So what's the problem? And it's fine on the right. And it turns off. Okay, so we gotta get into that and look at it. What we've got is we gotta take the cover off, which is basically just two pieces of plastic, one on the top and the bottom. In the Nissan, it's three screws. In the Sentra, it might be four, or in even another car, but they're just down on the bottom. Uh, one, and two, and there's one on the back side here too. So let's pop them off. Okay, so I took the three screws out of this one, and we're going to, you gotta just kind of, you gotta kind of wedge it, and you see it pops apart, and then you can kind of go around the seam, get a little more out of it, and go to the other side and do the same thing. I'll do it with the camera off. Okay, so I separated the both sides. Sorry, it's raining out today. And uh, you can see the crack. And one part drops down, this part drops up. It doesn't drop up, it goes up. Stupid thing to say. And we'll take it off. Put it up there. Okay, so that's the switch. The switch comes out real easy. There's a little tab up on the top, and there's also one on the bottom. You squeeze them down, and you give it a pull. Just like that. And there's the unit. And now, just to double check, if you think the unit might be broken, just check. Okay, that's pretending it's left turn. And what happens is this little tab here pops out, and then when the steering wheel comes back, there's a little nub on, on the steering column. I might show you that. And when it hits it, it, it flicks it back to straight, and it turns it off. So there's nothing wrong with that particular mechanism. So why would it do it? It's a 2012 here. It's 2020. I'm thinking maybe it's just not quite sticking out as far as it should be. Um, so I came to the thought, maybe I'll just try put a little epoxy on the tip of it so that when the little nub comes around, and I can show you that, it's down in here. Where is it? Hold on, I'll turn the collar on. And where this is the connector. And if you look down in here, right down in here, Let's see if you see that. See? There's a little nub in there. And that's what clicks it back to off. And you go the other way. So there's a nub in the right. So they look okay. And so what I'm going to do is put a boxy on it. And then stick it back in and see if it works. So you can see all I did was put a little bit of epoxy. I tipped the end of it. Just, just enough, I guess. Just a little bit, and um, I'm gonna stick it in. I'm gonna turn the car off first. Okay, so I just stuck it back in. Start the car again. And let's see if it worked. I don't know. Okay, that's my left. Turn signals on. I'm going around the corner. Okay, hold on. It's going fast. Oh my gosh! Look at that. It worked. Let's do it again. Left hand corner. You can hear it just rubbing a little bit. I'm sure it'll work out. Wow. Worked again. Well, I can take a little bit of noise. Well, it's not even that making the noise. It's just the bottom cover that's uh, that's uh, scraping on the steering wheel. Well, I'll use it and see if it lasts. And uh, good for the Nissan. This was... Uh, this was good for 2008 to 2012 uh, Pathfinder. Probably the same thing in the Frontiers. Uh, I got the I got a new switch or a used switch from a Sentra, so it'd be the same thing in the Sentras as well. And um, if your car looks anything like that, this could be the fix you need just to get instead of spending like I don't know that switch. I looked just like 
anywhere from 150 to 280 bucks but the boxy was cheap so great thanks for watching and um check out my uh shit show video that's a good one okay bye <laughs> oh I, for I forgot to say one thing um uh, if you're doing this in really cold weather be careful with that plastic thing they tend to break when it's really cold out so i'd warm the vehicle up first before you start popping things apart okay that's it